Hello, I am Kyung Oh Kim from Division of Gastroenterology, Department of Internal Medicine, Gatchon University, Gill Medical Center, Incheon, Republic of Korea. I am the corresponding author of the study entitled Safety and Efficacy of Glycopyrrolate as a Premedication for Endoscopic Submucosal Dissection, a randomized double blind placebo controlled study. On behalf of my, my co authors and myself, it's a pleasure to discuss our recently accepted manuscript in this video. In this era of endoscopic submucosal dissection, efforts have focused on ensuring successful and blocked dissection of premalignant or early malignant regions in the upper gastrointestinal area, and the indications for ESD have also increased. For this procedure, moderate to deep sedation under the supervision of endoscopist is widely used. However, although the safety of moderate to deep sedation during endoscopic procedures is well validated and widely used, unplanned cardiopulmonary adverse events such as hypoxemia is a huge clinical challenge. Hypoxemic events during sedation might be a consequence of respiratory depression due to excessive sedation, the larger amount of autopharyngeal secretion or LA obstruction caused by anatomical reasons. And in some patients with hypoxemia, combination of these causes are responsible. However, even in these patients, if the hypersecretion is a critical cause for the hypoxemic event, reduction of incidence of hypoxemia by reducing autopharyngeal secretion can be expected. Moreover, the oropharyngeal secretion may induce sudden coughing as well as hypoxemia. Coughing during the manipulation of endoscopic knives can have disastrous results including perforation and also may interfere with the endoscopist's construction. Therefore, reducing oropharyngeal secretion may improve the endoscopist's satisfaction and also the quality of the procedure. In this study, we tried to find a method to reduce hypoxemia during a gastrointestinal ESD procedure by reducing oropharyngeal secretion with a stable condition. Although a previous report evaluated the efficacy of anticholinergics in the early 1980s, these were published before ESD became a common procedure, and to the best of our knowledge, no data exists concerning the use of anticholinergics as a premedication for ESD. Therefore, we conducted a randomized double-blind placebo control study to evaluate the efficacy of glycopyrrolate, which is one of the promising anticholinergics as a premedication for ESD. In this randomized double-blind case control study, total of 196 patients undergoing ESD at a single tertiary medical center were randomly allocated to receive one of the two premedications, glycopyrrolate or placebo, which was normal saline in a double-blind manner. Every patient underwent ESD with propofol-based sedation with or without metazolam. The endoscopist and anesthesia nurse who participated in the procedure reported the incidence of secretion-induced hypoxemia, cough, the ease of the procedure as a visual analog scale, and other procedure-related adverse events. The proportion of patients with secretion-induced hypoxemia was lower in glycopyrrolate group, and the proportion of patients with cough was also lower in glycopyrrolate group. The median visual analog scale, which was reported by the endoscopist for the ease of procedure, was better in glycopyrrolate group. In univariate analysis, body mass index, procedure duration, and not using glycopyrrolate were statistically significant risk factors for secretion induced hypoxemia in our study sample. So, our results suggest that. Glycopyrrolate as a premedication can provide ease of procedure with relatively safe and stable condition by reducing the incidence of hypoxic event and sudden movement by coughing and 
Thus, glycopyrrolate can be a very good candidate to improve the procedural safety for ESD with propofol-based moderate to deep sedation. Thank you.